Hey everyone, I feel like this would be a good time to upload and uh, say, hey, how's it going everyone? Um, yeah, it's been quite a long time, over uh, four years since my last video was uh, published. So much has changed, I'll be honest, like if you look at me now, I am uh, no skin and bone guy, I'm pretty fat. But anyways, I'm about 265 now. Um, today's date is... Hey, Google. What is today's date? It's Tuesday, October 25th, 2022. So I'm from the future. <laughs> if you're watching the original videos in order. I am way into the future. What have I come back to say? Well, I got nothing. I, I, I do have a story, so, uh, all right, let's update. So, uh, when I was making videos, I was still with my wife at the time, uh, Ricky Kemp, or Ricky, I'm just going to stop there. Um, and, uh, I won't say her full last name, but Ricky, um, what happened was we got into, um, she got in we got into a disagreement we we got into a disagreement and uh this was quite a few years ago about f four years ago shortly after that video was published shortly it happened um um she always would uh i'm not gonna talk bad about her nope um it happened in the past but we just could never come to an agreement and talk about certain topics. Um, a lot of times, um, she would rather suppress them instead of talking about them, or I would rather talk about them at the moment. And, uh, I learned later on in through marriage counseling that it wasn't my fault that the relationship was falling apart. It was more that, um, because I was a Christian, and uh, found out later on that she was an atheist, and I did not know that when we got married or got into a relationship or anything like that. Um, I also didn't know that she was studying witchcraft either. And, uh, you know, those two don't usually go together, atheism and witchcraft, but apparently they do. And uh, I found out after marriage counseling that she wanted, she wanted separation. Um, turned out she wanted a divorce. And, uh, yeah, it was a hard time. Uh, I was scared. I did not know what to do. Um, the Urban Abbey took me in. And uh, I was a member of uh, the Urban Abbey for Construction and Maintenance Apprenticeship. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a hard time at the moment. Uh, I was, uh, Working with them, keeping my mind busy, um, letting myself heal, and uh, as I was going through the transition, I uh, I asked something I shouldn't have asked, and uh, my brothers at the Abbey told me afterwards, like you should never have asked that question. And it was uh, me and Ricky were talking, and uh, I asked her when, you know, she wants a divorce and everything. When did you stop loving me? And uh, she honestly answered that. The day I said I do. And uh, that was like three years of being married. I was like, I could have said something. You know, this ain't working out. We could have left on good terms, at least left. Uh, whether good or bad, at least we're not wasting our lives. But yeah, that happened. But because that happened, good things happened. Um, I remember saying a prayer to God, and I did not know what to do in the relationship at points. Uh, you know, I gave it to the Lord and said, you know what, if this isn't meant to be, I leave it in your hands. And uh, I remember a few months afterwards that that incident happened in the argument, and uh, it almost went physical, or not on my part. I, I never lay a hand on her at all, but it she attacked me and uh, not physically but uh, threatened 
and I said my only way of knocking or knocking uh, the mental sense in, I said, listen, if you do this, the police will be called. And uh, she stormed off, and uh, that's the reason we broke up was because of, uh, personally, she couldn't, uh, she couldn't trust me. She says, and I said, you know, there's obviously more to that than what made out. And that's why I learned that um, she resented me a lot about um, a Jesus, more or less, that, uh, that she grew up being um, in an abusive relationship with her stepfather. And uh, her stepfather beat her mom. And, and uh and because of that, she always prayed to God, and God never came to rescue in a way, and she blames God for it. She blames God couldn't exist if that was the case. So I learned from my marriage counselor that that was more of a, there's nothing I could have done differently. Probably the only thing I could have done was uh, denounce my faith, and that was not going to happen. So many different tests and trials here. I'll take my goggles off. I notice how they're, they're darkening up, yeah. Oh, cool. It changes the light as I'm having my goggles on. That's cool. That's really neat. Um, <laughs> and this little guy is Mau Mau. Right behind me. Hey, Mau Mau. And that brings me to this chapter. So while I was with the Abbey, I decided to, uh, to help out during the COVID time. Um, I don't know about we call it the COVID time. But while I was helping out the Urban Abbey, I was helping out with... Um, a shelter program and uh, I was helping a lot of guys out and I was spending a lot of time and taking care of some guys on the street and giving them a place to stay um, we were an outflow for shelter house so anybody that um, pretty much was a COVID patient or, or not a COVID patient but like they had no room to put them or if it was oh uh, oh they're making all this COVID symptoms but uh, we, we can't let them infect everyone else so we're going to send them to you and it's like it was really like terrible um but these people were being punished for it and uh we gave them a place to stay and a place to to bring their spirits up and they gave me a chance to preach about jesus and uh none of them none of them really wanted to know about it and i never really brought it up again but i still tried to practice love and um yeah, one guy, though, we got reconnected with, uh, the guy would stay with us was, um, I can't remember his name, but he had severe, or severe uh, memory loss, Alzheimer's, and uh, um, one of our friends actually got, got him in contact with his sister, his sister or his daughter or something, and oh, it was amazing, it was an amazing story. Um, I, I only know bits and pieces of it, but it was very amazing. Um, so, so that happened, and right after that, um, I came across some, uh, you know, $4,000. Um, it was a beautiful gift from um, the Abbey, you know, to help, help out with some of my bills and certain things of my time I've been spending there, because I was doing... I think it was 13 to 15 hour days sometimes um, with volunteering in the shelter house and the volunteering in the kitchen for cooking and doing other things everywhere else and not accepting money. Um, I was given an amount of money and, uh, you know, some of it I bought, uh, I bought an Xbox, my game system. Others I bought um, some clothes and things like that, but a portion of it. I spent it on my business. I got a bike trailer. And this was, this was just me chilling out, you know, not thinking anything of it, but just something to help me. Because, um, yeah, I'd be paid for, like, most of my bills and everything like that. The only thing I really had to worry about paying for was my rent and my, uh, you know, luxury items. If I wanted an Xbox or I wanted a game subscription, I had to pay for that. And, that's where the business came in. So I started a lawn mowing company because I was really good at it. And uh, um, it, 
was fun. Like, I had a couple customers, not a lot. And I wasn't thinking it was going to grow. Honestly, it didn't. And it grew. And it grew quick. My first year, I had amassed just over $6,000 in net profit. My second year, I hit just over 15 k in net profit. In my third year, I am just just over the 15k mark. I didn't do well, but I was expanding into something different. And that brings us up to this. So, uh, bring back to the business. Um, my business took off, and uh, um, I met a wonderful woman named Kimberly Papanu. Um, I have no problem announcing her name, um, and she's all right with it. Yes. Um, well, she will be by the time this video is uploaded, so. So if you're watching this, Kim already gave me the okay. Um, or I'll trim the video out. Or maybe I'll trim the video. Um, so we started dating and, uh, eventually got engaged and, uh, yeah, was waiting for, uh, the deal with the courts to be over and, and I'm going to be married to her. So this one's Mr. Mau Mau. Um, I have two stepkids, uh, Kiara and Tegan. And, uh, well, one's 16, one's, uh, 18. Um. Love it. Lovely kids. I love them both very greatly and greatly deeply. Um, they're on my mind a lot. Worries. Always in my head. So this is Mr. Mau Mau. And then we have another animal, Boehner, which is a dog. Uh, Pitbull, Boxer, Doberman, German Shepherd. Mau Mau. The reason his full name is Phantom. But we call him Mau Mau because he usually communicates. Mau Mau Mau. Um, whatever happened to Ricky, I don't know anymore. She's gone. Um, do I build tiny campers anymore? No, no, I definitely do not. Um, do I have plans to make one? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I don't know when. I don't know where. But I do have plans to make one. Um... Do I use a bike much? Oh no. How much do you weigh, Corey? Well, I weigh about 200 and uh, just over 265, I believe. Um, I think that was the last time I weighed at uh, Thanksgiving. And uh, Thanksgiving just passed. My dad's birthday's coming up soon. Um, do I do bushcrafting? Yes, I still do bushcrafting. I still do gardening and everything like that. And I still do um, canning. And do I do much dehydrating? Not a lot. Um, I found a lot of flaws about the dehydrator. Um, maybe I just got the wrong one and the time consumption it was and for it, like, the scale I wanted it for, it wasn't enough that I could use it for. Um, but then again, I was trying to do everything by hand. Um, did I la last out in the doing winter? No, I did not do winter. Um... Yeah, that pretty much brings you all up to date. I don't know how often I'll make video logs. You know, every once in a while. They're more for me than anything. Like, I enjoy watching them as years go by and just go back. And go, holy smokes, Corey. Like, the beard you had. Like, hair growth. Body structure. You're all bread. I could tell. I could tell where the weight, weight gain came from. Get off the bread. Leave it alone. Um, yeah, so you'll probably see Kim in some of the videos. And, uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to have to leave the videos because they don't hold any resemblance to me or anything like that. Or, um, But, yeah. Oh, I also bought a kilt because my company is called the Celtic Tremor. Um, so I wear a kilt usually. Right now I'm currently wearing a pair of pants, but... Often, I'm very known for having my kilt on. Um, I have two kilts 
at my disposal, I have the Royal Stuart's clan, which is the true king of Scotland. And then I have my clan, which is the Frazier clan. Um, what else is happening? Oh, other updates. Um, shortly after I got separated, I got baptized. So that was a bigger one. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much a sums up of what's been going on and everything on it. Um, other than there's little fine details here and there, but those are the big points. So it's 2022, um, October, 2022. I don't think I'll be really playing with formal editing and things like that. Like it was all about like the con making it look flashy. You know what? I'm just going to make it look traditionally. I'll speak how I am. Um, how's your face, Corey? Not as fresh as it used to be. Like, it, it's there. Like, I, I'm very strong in my faith. It's just... I mean, when I watched my first video, it was really, really, like, off the boat, kind of just... Like, I was... I... I... I yeah. Um... Like, I was so innocent um, in the sense of it. Like, I, I was like a new child. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, I fart a lot. That's the difference. Um, but, yeah, no, my face is, my face is strong. Like, I still believe in Jesus Christ. Um, but my knowledge is a lot different than what it was. Um, yeah, um, so yeah, I think this is all I'm going to put for video because it's like 4 a.m. now. Um, I started watching a bunch of the old videos and I got staying up late. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll try to upload a video every once in a while. Actually, I might do a, um, a reaction to my other video logs on this. We'll see what goes on. All right. Stay tuned. See you, see you next time, Corey.